Well, Chef, like you were telling me during the break, there's just two sleeps to go until all the uh, all the baseball <laughs> fans in Thunder Bay can handle, right? Well, you are excited. Yeah. You are pumped, and there's plenty to be pumped and excited about, Chow. Yeah. Uh, the 2017 Baseball World Cup set to begin Friday morning at Port Arthur Stadium and Baseball Central. And teams from the dozen competing nations have begun to arrive from all over the globe. Team Canada actually flew in Tuesday afternoon ahead of their big opening game. That'll be Friday night against fourth-ranked Chinese Taipei. Canada is ranked 10th. But there's plenty of talent on this Canadian roster highlighted by 17-year-old pitcher Landon Leach who happened to be the first Canadian selected in this year's Major League Baseball draft going in the second round, 37th overall, to the Minnesota Twins. And Leach talks about facing hitters that he has never, ever faced before. I've seen different guys throughout pro ball um, throughout my career. Um, I, just, I know how to read hitters and read the emotions so I just feel like I have a lot of experience with that so I'm just I haven't really seen many of the guys here already um, but I feel like I can definitely um, after a couple outings I'm definitely gonna know what their weaknesses are and just go after them. You need a, a team that can perform I mean uh, a lot of times you end up with guys that have a lot of tools which you know certainly project going forward but you want guys that can perform in the immediate time frame and we've got a really good group of guys that, that can play the game well that understand how to play the game and as a group we're a pretty good club. We've got a young Josh Naylor and uh, his brother Noah who's pretty special talent. we got Landon Leach obviously you don't get drafted as high as he did and not have a, a special arm but I always say with this group it's the sum of the parts and we've got kids going to major division one programs and a lot of them and some really good baseball players. All the fans that are tweeting at us, liking our pictures and stuff like that, and just um, saying congrats on making the team and just the support that we're getting is incredible. And we're just really excited to be here. Obviously, Canada is known as like a hockey country, hockey nation. Um, I just feel like winning here and doing well here. And even though, even though we have a lot of support, I just feel like we should we can show that baseball is also another big thing in Canada and not just hockey. Well, Chef, like you were telling me during the break, I mean, baseball, under-18 Baseball World Cup is almost here. I'm excited. Team Canada, I, I mean, they're almost, uh, they're almost ready for their first game, eh? Uh, no doubt about that. Oh, you know the old saying, practice makes perfect. Don't need to be almost perfect to beat Chinese Taipei, who are ranked uh, number four out of the 12 countries taking part. Well, as Shao mentioned, Team Canada made their final preparations today ahead of the under-18 Baseball World Cup. Colton Prale joined the team at practice earlier today. For the first time since 2010, the U-18 Baseball World Cup is on Canadian soil, and it's back at Port Arthur Stadium. The 12-team tournament highlights some of the best young ball players from around the world. And today, Canada's best were taking part in one final pre-tournament practice. But it's not the first time they're playing world-class competition. Uh, what Greg Hamilton's done for us, like, put us against all the pro professional players and um, faced us against, like, the Jays and everything. It's just helped us, like, an amazing amount coming here facing. We're going to be facing a lot of strong arms, so he's put us against some tough competition to be prepared for Worlds. That's pitcher Wesley Moore. The six foot two, 17 year old from Surrey, British Columbia, was ranked the 11th best Canadian in this year's draft by Baseball America. All eyes will be on him as he takes the mound in Canada's first game. Uh, it's pretty amazing, something I've dreamed about for a long time, and it's a pretty cool accomplishment. I'm not too nervous, more excited than nervous, but just pitching for my country is pretty cool, so pretty excited for that. He'll likely be paired up with catcher Noah Naylor, the younger brother of 12th overall pick in 2015, Josh Naylor. Noah already has an idea of what's to come over the course of the tournament. My older brother uh, told me a lot about this and you know, I'm just looking forward to this experience and uh, sharing it with others. Noah, already committed to Texas A&M, is expected to be an early pick in the 2018 draft and one of Canada's key contributors in this year's tournament. It's a task he's confident he can handle. Leading is a big part of my game, so I try to make sure that everybody is you know, the way that they are on the field uh, normally and just playing to the best of their ability. A self-described defensive specialist, Noah is more than capable behind the plate as well as standing at it. He reached the semifinal of the high school home run derby in Miami this past year, blasting 17 shots out of the park. Seven years ago in this exact spot, it was Chinese Taipei's turn to celebrate. They took home the title in 2010. Now Canada has a chance for revenge. They host the former winners in their first game Friday night at 6.30. Colton Prale, TBT Sports.
Good evening and thank you for joining us. For the second time in seven years, the best young baseball players from around the globe are here in Thunder Bay. The Under-18 Baseball World Cup got underway this morning with all 12 countries hitting the field throughout the day. And for a few teams facing equipment issues, they got some help from local people who stepped up to the plate to help out. Colton Prail reports. There was a different atmosphere around Port Arthur Stadium this morning, an air of anticipation. This wasn't just any baseball game that was being played. It was the height of high school baseball, and there was no mistaking the significance. Uh, you're seeing future major leaguers here. The, the U.S. lineup is loaded. Um, Cuba and uh, Japan, the Japanese uh, lineup, not really known for power, have two of the premier power hitters uh, in recent times from high school baseball, guys who are destined for pro, uh, pro careers. The first game of the Under-18 World Cup featured Japan and Mexico, and it drew a number of spectators. Official attendance has 500 people taking in the three-hour opener, a pleasant surprise considering the 9.30 start time. Saw a good crowd, mainly uh, Japanese media and Japanese fans, but a lot of local spectators curious about uh, what this means, this Japanese team coming to town. So for a, uh, a morning game like that, a great kickoff to the tournament. The start of the tournament was full of surprises for more than just the organizers. It also held a rather unpleasant surprise for Team Mexico. The team had originally planned to travel through Houston, but cancellations caused by Hurricane Harvey meant some players from the team were still flying in while they played their first game. So they're missing seven players, so, and one, one of them is a pitcher, so they, they did their best. On top of that, they were missing all their batting helmets. Thankfully, Play It Against Sports opened late last night specifically for the team so that they would have helmets for the opening game. The store also helped dress Team South Africa and Team Cuba, all for heavily discounted prices. When asked why they chose to help, the answer was simple. If we can do a good job and show that we're open-minded, open-hearted, uh, it really looks good on not just ourselves and the city, but the country as well. So we try our best. Well, for the majority of those taking part in the Under-18 Baseball World Cup, it's their first time in Canada, let alone in Thunder Bay. And it's only fitting that they're greeted with Canadian hospitality. Colton Prail, TBT News. Baseball World Cup has, uh, has started, and I mean, I've heard a lot of exciting talk. Did you ever sleep last night? Because no. I know you were really excited. Not even a little. <laughs> oh, well. Not Maybe even tonight. Team no sleep. The event yeah. is finally underway, yeah, Christmas in August. Or September, I should say. Uh, well, the wait is officially over. The under-18 World Cup of Baseball started this morning with Italy doubling up Nicaragua 4-2. Now, the top seeds from Japan hit the field at Port Arthur Stadium facing Mexico, who were missing seven players. Colton Prell has the highlights to that one. The first game of the Under-18 World Cup of Baseball featured the sixth-ranked team against one of baseball's giants. Pick it up top a second, Dario Emmanuel Gardea Acosta walked the first two batters he faced. That puts three on for Japan's Kyoto Fujiwara, and he sends one to the warning track. That clears the bases, all three Japanese runners in to score. Fujiwara trying to turn it into a triple, but he gets caught in a rundown. Gets tagged trying to get back to second. It's 3-0 Japan. Bottom of four now, Shoma Tukuyama perfect so far, but Jose Angel Maciel Villegas changes that with a long double. That puts two in scoring position for Mexico. Next batter, Tokuyama hits him. That loads the bases, and apparently the hit threw him off. Bases loaded, and after just hitting one, he does it again. Tokuyama beans Ramon Mendoza Navarez, and Mexico's on the board. Jump ahead to the seventh inning. It's now 4-1. Jose Adrian Palafox Ibarra into pitch for Mexico. He walks Kosuke Ito, who proceeds to steal second. Then after Ito stole second, Hisanori Yasuda hits a deep single. Ito blazes his way from second. He's in to score. Now 6-1, top of seven, to Sayanui at the plate. And he crushes this one. Shoots straight off the bat and over the wall in right field. It's a three-run homer. That makes it 9-1. Japan added another in the ninth. They take it 10-1 the final and will play the United States in day two. Despite missing seven players and tallying just three hits, Mexico's hopeful they'll gain their form as the tournament progresses. Uh -huh. Desafortunadamente, ahorita en el primer partido fue desequilibrado uh -huh, por situaciones que, que se nos han venido dando, pero yo creo que para mañana podemos jugar mejor. 
Yeah, they, for sure they have hope. It's just the whole, uh, they're, they're thrown off by the, the weather. Obviously, that held back their plane and then held other players from getting here. So they've got hope for tomorrow. Colton Prale, TBT Sports. Uh, checking out the other games this afternoon. The defending champs from the U.S. had no trouble with the Netherlands, dropping 11-1. Michael Ciani led the Americans with three hits and drove in three. The other game saw South Korea three hit Australia as they prevailed 4-1. Canada opening this U18 Baseball World Cup against Chinese Taipei. Before the game, the opening ceremonies, all 12 competing teams marching out, carrying their respective flags. To the game now, the Canadians in an early 1-0 hole in the bottom of the first until Clayton Keyes smacks one deep to right off Sin Cheng Lin. What a way to start the tournament for Keyes, a two-run bomb. Wesley Moore on the mound for the Canadians, top second. He gets... Kay Lin Tai to tap it to third. Noah Naylor goes across the diamond for the out. It's part of a 1-2-3 inning. Move to the fifth. Now 4-1 Canada. But the visitors get to Moore, who opened the inning with back-to-back -back walks. Han Yu Tsang with a two-out, two-run single to draw Chinese Taipei within one. The Canadians cushion their lead in the home half, however. Archer Brookman pounds a home run off Taipei reliever Yi Shang Chu. Brookman went three for four with three RBI, and that jack, it's 5-3. But Chinese Taipei is ranked number four in the world, top seven with a pair in scoring position. Reliever Harvey Gollert gives up a base hit to Tian Sin Ku. Both base runners come in to count. It's a tie ball game. We're heading to extras, top of 10. Teams begin extra innings with runners on first and second in this tournament. Third batter runners now at second and third. Wee Chi Su drives one in with a base hit to right. They'd score two in the frame, so it's 7-5 Chinese Taipei as we move to the bottom half. Brookman, a hot shot to right that squeezes through the defense. In comes Mark Antoine Lebro, but a little later, Clayton Keyes goes down looking. Chinese Taipei downs Team Canada 7-6 in 10 innings. Ryan Bonazzo, TBT Sports. Welcome back. So the U18 World Cup continues, and Canada's game is actually about to start in about 20 minutes. Yeah, they're about to take the field against Italy in a must-win contest if they hope to advance to Thursday's Super Round. The top three teams in each group move on, while the bottom three are relegated to the consolation round. The Koreans don't have to worry about any of that. They improved to a perfect 4-0 today with a 12-4 blowout over Nicaragua. The Koreans are the only undefeated team in Group A. The Australians moved into second place thanks to a 4-0 victory over Chinese Taipei. The Aussies wrap up the opening round against Canada tomorrow evening. Over in Group B, the Americans stay perfect. They scored a 5-0 win over South Africa this afternoon. That's 35 straight shutout innings for the U.S. The only run they've allowed all tournament came in the first inning of their opener against the Netherlands on Friday. And speaking of the Netherlands, they fell 3-1 to Japan this afternoon at Port Arthur Stadium. The Japanese improved to 3-1 for the tournament. The Netherlands fall to 1-3. So we're just a few minutes away from the opening pitch between Canada and Italy. The Canadians still looking for their first win. Now this is the first game of the tournament where the host side comes in as the favorite. Canada's ranked number 10 in the world, two spots ahead of the Italians. So let's take a look back at what happened to the red and white yesterday against number three Korea. Here's Colton Prale. One of the two undefeated teams in the tournament, Korea looked the part early against Canada. Minnesota Twins 2017 second round pick Landon Leach started on the mound, but his afternoon took a turn for the worst after Cho Kae Hyun blasted a three run homer off of him in the top of the second inning. Canada was able to pull things back to within one thanks to a two-run homer in the next inning from second baseman Edward Julian, but Korea was right back at it in the fourth. This time, Zhang Junhua taking Leach deep for two. It was the beginning of an evening that would see Canada fight back, but never quite catch the Koreans, eventually falling 11-7. Julian got them closest, but sums up their disappointment nicely. 
You know, uh, first shot was happy to hit that home run and to get that, that uh, game to one run. But you know, unfortunately, we didn't had uh, didn't had the push to finish the game and finish strong. The team's now 0-2 on the tournament, and if they have any hope of making the playoff rounds, they'll need to start making the best of their remaining games. Well, you have to win. I mean, that, as you say, I mean, we there's no margin anymore. We've got to win games, and, and we've got to win them all. And if we don't, then uh, you know we're not going to be playing for anything meaningful. Uh, we've got to come as a group, not only as a player. And everybody needs to contribute. And uh, as a pitcher, hitters, everybody needs to go in and got to be all in. It's more than just coming together. They're going to need to be much more solid defensively. Although the team has had no problem putting up runs, they've notched 13 so far. They've allowed a whopping 18 runs against in just two games. It's tough when you're when you're down early and you're fighting back all the time. And and uh, you know they continued to fight back. They continued to stay with it. We got the time run of the plate again in the ninth. And. You know, one swing of the bat, we, you know, I don't want to say luck, but, uh, you know, we haven't really been able to get that hit thus far or make that play. Canada's next game is against Italy, and that's good news for a defense that could use a confidence boost. As a team, the Italians have totaled just six runs and a dismal 186 average over three games. Colton Prail, TPT Sports.